this stadium, it, it stands for more than you ever realize. I mean, we had the ceremonies today and everything went along real smooth. But we are talking about something that's going to be here for a long time. It'll be an inspiration. And we don't forgot stuff like that. But it will be an inspiration for the children and for the school itself. This is incredible. I, you know, the game of baseball is one of the greatest games in all professional sports. And to see it come all the way down to this level and then where, where it probably had the chance to enhance itself because, let's face it, there's a lot of money being played in, in, in Major League Baseball these days. So if these kids can come out here and apply themselves, then you never know. Oh, first off, you harken back to when I was a kid and uh, the communities in which I grew up in New Jersey where we had a field. It wasn't as nice as this. It was a field. You had to go pick things off the field before you could play. But it was ours. It was in our community. If we wanted to go play, somebody would get a bat and a ball and you, you know, you go out there, you had no gloves, and you caught them barehanded, and you would you, you know, make up your own games, and you would play all day long, but it was in your neighborhood, and that was very important. In 1962, I, uh, I taught school right in this general area right here, and if we, uh, a field that we played on would just walk out into the street, pick up a stick, and hit a wall. Something like this will, will get these kids into the knack of knowing that if I work hard, and I learned this game of baseball, I learned to play the game, hey, maybe I can make it just like Charlie Wagner or like a Mudcat Grant, but there's no doubt about it, this field is going to do a lot toward the young kids uh, uh, loving the game of baseball, which they already do, but it will increase their, their knowledge of the game and give them a better incentive as to what they might want to do later on in life, and it, it's, it's a fantastic thing, and I wish we had had it back in the 60s. With the PA system, with this, the, the quality of, of facilities here, uh, it's just going to elevate the quality of play in the league and just how the kids feel about themselves. And, and it's not so much about being a star, it's just coming out and participating and playing on a first-class facility. It's just going to help the kids out immensely. So I know we're going to get a lot of use out of this facility, not only locally, but even countywide. I'm excited as much as the partnership between Lowers Park and the, and the Reading Phillies, though, with the Reading Philly Squires. I, I just absolutely think that is the way to keep the, the, the relationship alive and well and to the things that the Phillies and the organization are going to do to mentor our Lowers Park kids and follow them to junior high and high school and hopefully some of them end up with jobs with the Phillies and maybe some even go on to college and there's a, some money put in the pot to help them. I think that's how you establish a relationship that makes this really a field of dreams because you give the kids something to look forward to and the commitment by the, the folks from the Phillies, uh, the, the folks who work there from Chuck Domino all the way down, every employee, the, it's just that relationship for this project, I think that's that's what makes me the happiest.